you must have muscles ripping and raging all over your body. All right, it just goes more and more and more the minute we lax our standards. The minute we lessen our standards, okay, you can be fat. Now you got no choice. Now you got 60% of women walking around looking like a busted Pillsbury biscuit can. And you can't do nothing about it but select one of them. That's the minute we said, okay, body acceptance. So now, did that make women actually work out harder? It made them say, all right, well, it's just, they taking them like that, I'll do it, okay? We have the most standards, yet most of you guys are pedestalizing and worshiping, choosing, choosing to worship them. The second thing you must accept is that there's tremendous power in masculinity, tremendous power in masculinity. How do we know that? They're telling you not to do it. Toxic masculinity, don't be that. They're telling you not to do it in order to keep the advantage. And at the same damn time, what are they doing? They're being more masculine. You're like, what the? Where's Jesse Lee Peterson? What the? Okay. How's that? I'm going to go out of work. We can do everything a man can do. Okay. They're doing exactly what we were doing, but we've abdicated the throne. We've allowed them to do it, and they call us names when we go ahead and try to do it. It is the craziest mind F ever. Crazy. But there's great power and authority in masculinity, okay? But with great power comes great responsibility. See, sometimes with masculinity, we think it looks a certain way. It should, it should have a beard, should have a bald head, should have muscles. The reality is masculinity, you know when it's not there and you know when it is. That's what masculinity is. You can be five foot four and be very masculine. You can be six foot eight and be a beta male monkey chimpanzee. All right, that's what I call it. Yeah. You can be a beta. Can be no masculinity in you. Okay? But it must have these two qualities. It must, or else forget it. Value, free agent lifestyle, and authority. Without those two things, forget it. You ain't got no value, forget it. You don't got authority, just it's a, it's a wrap, okay? You can forget about being masculine. I know a lot of short dudes that's straight masculine, and they pull women left and right. You know why they pull them? They got value. Remember I told you, remember I told you when I was a college basketball coach, why the girls were talking to me? It wasn't because of me, it's because I got a scholarship. I could give them something. That's why, so I had value. Yeah, that's why they keep talking to me. That's why they keep sharing stuff with me. I have value. I control their playing time. They're like, I better talk to that guy. Same thing with dating. Same exact thing. They have value. And they also maintain authority. As soon as you give that up, forget masculinity. Because I'm going to tell you something. You don't have kids. I have kids. The minute you allow something, don't, believe, don't think you're going to get that back. This is what's happening in the country right now. And I'm not going to get off on too much of a tangent. But the minute they take something away from you, don't think they're giving it back, like immediately, right? We're gonna take that right away for a little bit, for our own benefit and for everyone's safety, okay? See, how's that working out? You guys getting your country back? You guys getting your state back anytime soon? Nope. We'll give you a little bit at a time. In California, they give you colors. Oh, it's purple today. You can have this. See, this is why you can't release authority, okay? The last thing, the third thing of the quality, the thing that you must accept is that you must...